Welcome back to Bandana's play. Yes. Yeah, I saw you wearing yours, so I thought I'd, I thought you were in your dedicated Hulk Hogan bandana, so I thought I'd put on my nondescript green bandana. Yeah. Michael wears bandanas quite often. I'm wearing one today because my hair looks like shit. I, I, I don't wear it quite often. I just have it because... Well, I've seen you wear bandanas on more than one occasion. Although, I mean, it was before I cut my hair off, so I was just mostly to keep it back. I guess. That's um, sort of what I'm doing now. It's in that horrible, like middle length where uh, you can't yes. tie it up yeah, you and you can't make it look good. Yeah, you too long to do short things, too short to do long things. Right. Yeah. I know. It's actually a conversation I, I, I would often bring up with, like, girls who are... Who had, like, long, long hair. Well, yeah, but who also already started the conversation with hair to me and now I'm too committed to back out. Right. Oh. Which, by the way, for the longest time, I would, like... I wouldn't judge, but, like, I... would be more motivated to speak to you if, like, the first thing you brought up wasn't my hair. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it wasn't the thing we talked about for the next 20 minutes. Right. Nah, I get you. Yeah, because, like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know how to take a compliment, and they wouldn't know how to move on. And it was just a terrible conversation. <laughs> just didn't work. Yeah. Just screwed up on all levels. Yeah. Uh, does this jump normally rock? Okay. okay. It's a normal jump. Like, it, it it rockets you up there, but I think it wasn't working because of the free time. Uh, I see. Like, uh, not like the conveyor belt, so... In the, the sand Egypt level? You mean the, the sky level? No, the sand. What the there were conveyor belts in the sand? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when, when it... You mean the I underground said, level? The underground... Oh, right. I think that was in Sandland. Okay, yeah, because I'm sure underground is a genre of level. Underground doesn't qualify enough to be a world. Tell that it's, to the underdwellers. Tell it, that to the sewer mutants. Psh, no. They're not, they don't even qualify to be people. Yeah. They don't even qualify. They're not people. Hence, muties. There's a bonus stock A. Up here? Yes. Oh, there you go. And there's the Jepitoad. So, when you get out of here, are you gonna... Oh. It's like, a, it's like Hubert. Oh yeah, well, it's designed like the stage looks like Hubert now. Um, I was gonna say the, um... Oh, holy shit. I was gonna say the, um... Good god, that looks weird off in the distance. The, um... Just this game, it reminds me of a combination of, like, uh... Two games, one of which I forgot going on, hesitant to even name the first one. Okay. Uh, okay, so the Bombing Islands, which is this puzzle game. Yeah, you mentioned the Bombing Islands. You play as a clown. And I actually own the disc of. Um, and, like. Oh shit. Oh well, shit. You, oh shit. Look at what you God did. damn it! Brett, look at what you did. <sighs> Luckily, my. So angry. Oh no, he's home from school. Does this mean I have to get the other jet, jet pop Yeah, I have to do it all over again. God. That's like the first mistake I made in the whole game, okay? I've died maybe twice. That, that, yeah, that was the second I've time. died exactly twice. Um, give me some credit here. But yeah, that, that was stupid. Hey, I mean, I'll judge you for a game I've never played. I'm and I'm totally sick of watching. Oh my god, actually no, there are, um... There are t I'm not completely sick of watching it, I was just kind of... I don't know. I, I guess like the the immediate shock of how like oh in your face everything is and new kind of lost. It. That that's been lost. But I don't think the game is less fun. That has that definitely has a. Uh, this game definitely has that because everything's so like brightly colored. Yeah. Actually, I, th I feel like maybe some of the earlier levels were like more brightly colored because like now it's just you're dark and in space and there's kind of a skybox thing going on. Yeah. Well, I mean, as you get closer to the end of the game, things become a little more ominous and foreboding, even in its overall cheery and jovial nature. <laughs> Nothing could be more ominous <laughs> than a what? Than a playful cadence. Wait, no, that I'm playing. perfect authentic cadence. <laughs> That's 151, Brett. You know that. Um, everyone's heard it. If it. I actually finally found out the way I would describe music theory to people who haven't heard it. Like, cause I, I, I never was able to do it without starting to actually explain and what it, it is. Right. Like, like saying it. Like, I couldn't explain it without starting to like teach things about it. Right. But music theory, I think, I'm, like, I, the the best short nutshell explanation I give is like all the things you probably already. Know already about feel music, about music, but don't have yeah. music for. That's interesting. A study of those things. Well, I mean, of course, and and things you don't know about, but um, that that's about the gist of it, I, I think. Which I think that works. 
Yeah. I think that's a good explanation. Yeah. Somebody asked me the other day why I was into obsolete technologies. That's... And nobody has ever, like, straight out asked me that question. That's a fair question, but, like, so I think I, st I never I never bother to pursue it with you because I think I know why. It's the same, like, the same reason I'm just into everything. Yeah, it's just, it's weird to consider that at a time when somebody wanted to distribute media, there was, first of all, no way to do it. Yeah. And then later, like, you had to innovate ways to do it, and then after ways to do it were innovated by different companies, you had to choose which way you wanted to do it. And which way you would screw out your competition. Screw, screw over. over. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the final jet Uh, it's not on your map. Well, it doesn't show up on your map unless you're doing free time. Uh, and it doesn't show up in your, like, you know, periphery unless you're close enough to it. Right. Update! What a surprise, close enough. Come on. Jeez. There, are, there actually have been times, though, I've been watching, um... A something or other, like someone playing something, and I like despite not having played the game, I felt they were still inadequate. Right? No, for sure. Like sometimes you just watch somebody do something, and you're just like, I've never done that before, but there's no way it can be that hard. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then there's stuff like Rocket League, which I now own and love. Yeah, I've I've had opportunities to play that, and I don't think it's even you who's been mentioning it. It's Joey Frashoni at work, who is a Luke's doppelganger. R he sounds like he would be. He is, and he's. Did he, he's he also like, go to the same school as us. Um, as in as as, as you two, yeah. He yeah. Uh, apparently his mom was a teacher. Actually. The name sounds familiar. Yeah. Oh, just like Luke's mom was a teacher. Yeah. Wait. What? Luke's mom. Is okay, maybe I'm getting them confused. Okay. Yeah. Maybe their doppelganger powers are overwhelming. Just like this one. Yeah, he's Luke's a doppelganger. Um, oh sweet, you got triple Roman candle. Wait. Uh, rockets. Oh, rockets. Well. Which do this. Nice. Oh, he gets up on the corners of the stage like uh, Kraven. Oh. And he multiplies like rabbit. He's a rabbit. Oh, that's funny. He's a rabbit. He's a rabbit robot. He's no, a, he's a rabbit. He's a, he's a rabbit. Which I actually now, just now realize is a combination of robot and rabbit. Wow, you didn't get that immediately. I don't think I cared enough to try, I'll be honest. Sometimes you're so perceptive, my friend, but other times... There are those other times. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, there has to, actually speaking of Rocket League, like, there's like times where I'll make like amazing fucking plays and it's like, what are you doing? Just cycle back, it's defense, you know, I can't waste my boost getting back to cover our base every right. time. And then there's other times where it's like I dodge and the other I I go I shoot myself away from the ball because I forgot I was driving backwards. Alright. So my, my controls are oriented the other way. Yeah, it's a, it's a, And then they do an instant replay. It's like car <laughs> soccer, right? Yeah, right. That, that's exactly it. Car soccer with fun physics, not realistic physics. Arcadey physics. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that that would easily be an arcade game if like our arcades had those kind of specs back when arcades were like, a thing. They they're a, doing a, really, some, a more popular thing. Yeah. They're doing some cool stuff with arcades still, but it's just not the same as it used to be. Hey, you triumphed over your evil half. I did. You want to lengthen the episode and do the boss? Um. Well, we're only eight minutes in. I think I'm, I'm actually going to be able to get this done on this episode. Look at that, guys. On the sly, I got you back. <laughs> Giving you all that Brett's Play extra episode time you need like a fucking addiction. Welcome to the finale. Yeah, the boss, Baron Aloha, looks dumb. I'm going to say it. He does look dumb. He has a dumb shirt, he has a dumb face, dumb monocle that doesn't match his dumb But you gotta, you gotta say, that does give you some motivation to uh, beat the shit out of him. Yeah, I will say, much like roller coasters, I like all my problems in front of me where I can punch them. Which is why I don't like ride, I don't ride them. Have you I ever punch punched them. a roller coaster? Are you kidding me? I, like, just, just, I was changing my brakes yesterday, my hand slipped off the ratchet, and I smashed my thumb into the rotor under my own weight. I couldn't punch a roller coaster. <laughs> my thumb's still bruised from that first thing. I had his patterns down because I beat him the other week, but like now I forgot. I do like how he, sh he shoots stuff out of his nipples for one thing. Oh, this is exactly the kind of game you can. And also, I feel like oh, he looks he feels he looks like he feels pretty. Um, I like it that we're in an octagon here. Yeah, it's like a big MMA fight. Baron, quote unquote, nipples Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> his middle name is Nipples. Yeah, Baron nipples a little. Okay. Hey, watch what he's gonna do. 
That one he shoots forward. Yeah, okay. Well, it's kind of... Like, I think the thing that, for me, that would that would make this game less fun is, like, your only method of dodge is jumping. Well, I mean, that's the whole thing of this game, is you're a jumping rabbit robot. Yeah, I'm saying that's that. That's what you do. Like, I think that's what might make it less charming for me. I don't know, it's just learning like, how like, to do you know, a new like, thing. Well, yeah, I know, but, like, you know, my favorite game is Mega Man X, Mega Man X 4, so, like, I'm used to dash, dash and jump dash and jump and occasionally you get one extra move that helps you double jump. Yeah. Depending on how you play this. And then there's a stupid web power up. It's only ever good for walking on the walls. And that one thing getting the buffer up. Web power? Like, it, like Spider-Man? No, well no, you kill web spider. Um, which you, you, you quoted as the most creative Mega Man boss ever. I did? Yeah. God, I forget what I say. It's a good thing I don't get myself in trouble or do dishonest things because people would always think I was mincing my words and changing I mean, my story. I'm also the only one who ever remembers like small stuff that happened in the past. You're not. All of my friends do. Really? Just most especially you and Lindsay. Okay. They're just like, remember when you did this? And I'm like, no. I like. Now my feelings have completely changed. <laughs> oh God. I remember the time I was talking to my brother. And, um, you know how taste buds just change as you grow up? Yeah. I didn't I hadn't I didn't know that was a thing yet because I was still ten, but like Right. I you were saw, Stilton? Like the cheese? No. I had seen him eating spaghetti. And I was like, Joe, you said you had eaten spaghetti. And he's like, No I didn't. But I don't now. And he's like, You liar! God! <laughs> that hurt me in the headphones. Oh yeah, you're wearing headphones. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I, I said you liar. No, I heard you. I called him a liar. <laughs> I couldn't have heard you anymore. Oh man. You Again? win. I think I got it. Time to get in Sony. Yay! Say aloha, Baron. I. I'm not on board with that. I'm not on board with that. I don't like it. Uh -huh. I think. I, not only do I. Now you have a dumb joke to match his dumb everything. <laughs> so you're like, yay, I won the game, right? Nope. You've only damaged my base slightly. Prepare yourself, Robert. Now my minions are really ready for you. Great. Baron Aloha, am invincible! You ain't done yet, Baron. But we are. Now the new with it. Next time <laughs> on Brits. sounds like the cherubs from, um. Medieval. You would love them. They're in the secret ant cave. Level. Game start extra one. As in, like, is this about to be a Castlevania shit again? <laughs> With you, me, and Chase? I don't know. Where we beat the game oh, one yeah. time before we even start? No, today it's not. We've we played enough Jumping Flash. So thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. I hope nobody got motion sick. It's good to be recording again. Welcome back to we Brett's Play. We already high-five. It's too much. High-five again. Yeah! Now it's not special. 